Hello tarot lovers and thank you for joining me here today as we continue our exploration of the major arcana of the, the Rider Waite Smith deck right there. And uh, I'm working with a little mini version. So just so you know, you can also get these little ones that are a lot more portable. You can just pop them right in your purse. So today I'm very happy to bring you another card most people really want to see in their spreads especially if you're, you know, looking for love. Hello, lovers. So, as you can probably imagine, this is a very fortuitous card. There's obviously the, the two, uh, two lovebirds there and receiving blessings from the angel. Very bright, sparkly, see that sun? You can often tell just by the colors. So just looking at the card, you can see, you know, it's very bright, happy, cheerful, positive looking card. So, um, so there you have it. Let me share a little bit about that, what I, the message I received from the guardian angel here who was watching over the lovers. So that the angel's message is, true love, it is yours now or coming, depending on my location in the spread. I give my angelic blessings to this union. I join with the tree of life and the tree of knowledge to say success is yours. I predict a happy union or reconnection, but also, depending again on the context, a successful work venture. I also say you have both the divine masculine and divine feminine within you represented here. Strive to bring both aspects of yourself into balance and most importantly, direct all this beautiful unconditional love to your own sweet self. So here again, we have the card and you can say he's got the tree of life behind him, Adam, and Eve has the tree of knowledge with the serpent there, um, encouraging her to take a bite of the apple. So that was that message. And just to share what, uh, so again, I'm working with this lovely journal, the Tarot Journal by uh, Peter Popper Press. <laughs> okay, so, and it says in its suggestions of the meanings, it says, no more flirtations or sitting on the fence. It's time to commit to the person or passion that speaks to your heart. It's your soul's deepest need. How will the relationship be one of a higher level? Be more like the partner you want. Don't wait to be sexual. Dress the part and wear something that smells good. <laughs> okay. And now that's it. But, but they did kind of allude to it doesn't have to be a passion for another person. It can be a passion for a project, a passion for a, a you know, deep held belief. It can, it, so it can also represent that. And consulting the Tarot Bible. And so they say some key words to associate. Here again, it's slightly different. And I often wonder when they make these changes. So she's now looking up at the angel and Adam is kind of looking down at the ground. Whereas before in this one, she was still slightly looking at the angel, but they were kind of, he was looking at her. So I kind of wonder about that. Um, I'm not sure why the artist took a different representation, but uh, I guess everybody has their own their own view. Um, so the key words are love, completeness, completeness, choice, temptation, commitment. Some phrases are the power of love and how we deal with it. Uh, what do you mean by the word love? Seeking wholeness, being true to your values, sexual harmony a made in heaven kind of relationship, romantic desire, feeling drawn to another, making a choice, knowing what's right and wrong for you personally, and wanting union. So for me, it has kind of a special meaning too because it's zodiac affinity, it's a Gemini, which I am. So, and they talk about the twins. And so I really resonated with the message and just the reminder that we have both within us, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. So to honor both. There's Callie. What do you think, Callie? Callie. Hey, yeah, you. <laughs> That's Callie. 
The, covers car, the lover's card is a card everyone wants to draw, but it's far more complex than just signifying new love in your life or harmony and happiness. The image reveals that we are all separate individuals, however close we feel to someone sexually or emotionally, and we must acknowledge each other's personal values or needs. If you draw this card in the you now position, your heart rules your head, or you want to be in love and escape the doubts, fears, and inhibitions of the world around you. If you draw this card as a future card, new romance could come into your life without you even looking for it. This card also implies it's time to make a relationship choice. Do you commit? Will your partner commit? Do you go your own ways? Conflicts can be resolved if this card is in the future position, but it also indicates that temptation will test the strength of a current relationship. So something to be watching out for. Love triangles are also signified if this card appears in a future position. You may have to choose between two people or even be tempted to get involved with someone who's already in a long-term relationship. The lover's archetype also asks you to think about what you personally mean by love and to take responsibility for your choices. We all use the word love very glibly, but love is different things to different people. You may want unconditional love, whereas someone else may want conditional love, approval, or be seeking to, seeking to manipulate others to feel loved. This card asks you to be more aware of who you are and what values you place on love relationships. So there you go. That's the, the lover's card. So we're getting through most of the major arcana here. And I hope you started playing with them as you go and just kind of getting familiar with them. Um, now that we have amassed quite a few, you could be starting to do like a one or, or even a three card spread, just working with the cards we've already identified and, uh, and work through and discussed and everything. And uh, just to get a sense of, of working with the cards on a regular basis, even if we don't quite have all of the major arcana just yet, but we will within the next few days. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining me today. And again, I invite you to comment, share me, uh, share with me your progress, uh, what's been meaningful for you, what you might do that's different, just anything that you can bring to this conversation and uh, just bring in yourself or even just say, hey, how you doing? <laughs> that's always welcome too. So thanks very much for watching and namaste everyone. Big love and I'll be right back here tomorrow. Bye, Callie. She's leaving too. She's okay. We're done. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.